Welcome back, everyone. Everyone deserves to be respected for who they are, yet bullying is still a problem across this country. Life for young people struggling with their sexuality can be especially difficult. A movement is underway to stop hate and intolerance. It's called ItGetsBetter.org. Celebrity stylist Derek Warburton is on the website, and he is here now to tell us more about it. Derek, welcome back to daytime. Thank you. Good to be here again. I took a look at ItGetsBetter.org. What a powerful website this is. It's amazing. Um, it was started in September by a man named Dan Savage, who's a syndicative columnist. And he was really, it was really just one video. Mm -hmm. It was him and his partner. And they just poured their heart out because they were seeing so many kids committing suicide, being bullied every mm -hmm. day. They made the video, Perez Hilton picked it up, Sierra made one, and then it just went from there on. And you know, it, President Obama has made one, so many different people have made them now, and now they've just become an international phenomenon. It really is amazing. When I was on there, I was noticing a lot of the video, and one that stuck out uh, was Gareth Thomas, professional yes. rugby player, and his story is so touching. And you know, it's about a four and a half minute video, so it's not yep. long, but you get a lot of great information from it. Uh, I, you know, I was just, just sat there and enjoyed what he had to say. No, you know, what's really phenomenal about it is that everyone can tell their own personal story. I mean, I told my story and it was, it's very difficult to make those videos. I mean, I was homeless growing up. I was bullied in my own home and then I went to school every day mm. and it was extreme bullying every day. I can't remember a day that it wasn't like that. So for me, it was such a personal thing and I went to It Gets Better and I said to them, you know, I really want to host this lounge during Fashion Week because it was the perfect time. And Fashion Week is so electric and so many of our contemporaries come together in the fashion industry, but also celebrities are around and whatnot. So I just called on my friends and I said, please come by, you know, I would love to have you here. And we had phenomenal people. We had Eve, Miss J, Carrie Hilson made a video with us, the editor-in-chief of Mary Claire the in chief of Seventeen Magazine, and I loved her video, actually. Um, I think we have a clip of that here yeah, today. Yeah, we, we've been watching, mm -hmm. actually, as excerpts, we're seeing it right now, and you, you had that lounge, the Derek Fabulous Lounge, yes. and, <laughs> and you probably had to turn people away, right? Because we did turn people away. We had to over come. 50 people filming, wow. and we had hundreds of people showing up to give their support, which was amazing. And what was really cool, we got to um, broadcast it live, on my website, DerekLoveShopping.com, and we broadcast it live on ItGetsBetter.org. And it was, it was an electric two days. It was so fantastic. And people, like I said, they were telling their personal stories. And, you know, I love the one from Seventeen Magazine. Her name is Anne Choquette. She's the editor-in-chief. And she was talking about girls mm -hmm. that aren't necessarily gay, mm -hmm. but they're being bullied every day also. And mm -hmm. she's getting letters from girls. And so this isn't just a problem for young gay kids. This is a problem for every kid, and it's really time to do something about it. You mentioned in your video that you really could have used a website like this when oh, you were growing absolutely. up. Oh, absolutely. Because you felt very alone, didn't you? There was nowhere to go because my home was so difficult. And, you know, for a lot of gay kids, what people don't understand, it's not like they can tell their parents they're being bullied mm -hmm. because they're going to know. Right. right. You know, and if they're not ready to come out, they're certainly not ready to tell their parents they're being bullied for a certain reason because it's going to start the questioning process, mm -hmm. which so many children are afraid of. I mean, there's so many children in the world right now that can't come out to their own families mm. and they're afraid to be in their own home. I was one of those kids. So to have that, to have a place to go where people can see other people and their struggles. And, you know, it's great to have celebrities do it, but everyday people matter. Right. because it's their own stories and some of those stories are the most epic. I, I, some of those stories made me cry just and, and yours included. Oh, I cry doing mine. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> you know? It's very I cry emotional. I cry watching them all. But what is the ultimate goal by having this for these kids? Is it for, to give them the strength to be who they are or to is it to stay alive? To stay alive, to, to stay know that they're alive. not alive and it does get better. It, do, it but it really does get better. You know, I lived my life in fear every day and then now you know, I have a wonderful life and I'm really blessed. I have a wonderful career. I travel the world. I get to do amazing, beautiful, fun things, but I get to give back also because mm. I will never forget. But you're also that fabulous. I, was that kid. I am fabulous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the website again is itgetsbetter.org. Yes. And it's really amazing. Derek Warburton, thank you very much. Please check it out. And yeah. then also, there's a book coming out on March 22nd called It Gets Better. And you can pre order it and you can buy it for your own high school and they'll ship it directly to your school. Thank you. Right. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.